Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Fallout 4. In last episode, we got the purser, like, chip thingy from their brain decoded, and uh, we uh, brought the information back to this guy, the virtual dude, and uh, he said that we needed to construct a device that we could use to go into the institute, so... Let's see if we can get some information from our friends. Alright, so... Let's just start with the Minutemen as the first one, since those were the first one that we were really... Wh Why are you standing on the bed? Anyway, we need help. I need Please. help. We need to build a device that can get me inside the Institute. Yes. The Institute? Yeah. Why in the world would you want to mess around with them? Well, I have my reasons, you know. One of those were my son, you know. I kidnapped my son. Damn. That's some bad business. Even for them. Indeed. We'll give you whatever help we can. Don't worry about that. Now, assuming you could build this thing, what exactly does it do? Uh, teleportation. I guess, yeah. Well, mo molecular, really, yeah, yeah. Did you know the Institute has a teleporter? They call it the molecular relay. Teleportation? Yes. For real? Yes. Wow. That would explain a lot about how the Institute manages to operate. Definitely if does. If make heads or tails of those plans, it'd be Sturgis. I haven't found anything yet that he couldn't build or fix. Alright. So, talk to Sturgis. Now, where's that lad at? He's up there. Yo, Sturgis! I need your help, lad! Come here. What's going on? Um, I need your help. Preston thought you might be able to figure out these plans for me. Sure thing. Let's see what you've got. All right. Hey, can you build this? Do you think you can build this? Wow. Come on. What a mess. Hmm. Looks like uh, encrypted RF transmissions. Okay, so that gets routed through. What the hell? <laughs> Teleportation. This is some pretty crazy shit. You sure it's for real? Yes. It's real. Uh, it is. It's real. I got it from an ex-Institute scientist. Seriously? Yep. I didn't know you could be an ex-Institute anything and still be breathing. Anyway, nope. the eggheads never think about the nuts and bolts of actually making something work. But, uh, looks like it's all here. Yeah. I'm gonna need oh. some time to study this thing. Alright. The handwriting's pretty hard to make out. But, uh, you can get started on what he calls a stabilized reflector platform. Uh, uh. some pretty high-grade metals, but it's basically not that different than the lining of a jet engine or something like that. Well, parts list, please. Can you give me a list of what I'll need to build this platform? Yeah, sure. Here's a list of what you'll need for the first piece. I'm pretty sure we've got all that at Sanctuary, if you want to build it there. While you're working on that... I'll get busy figuring out how to actually build the rest of this thing. Keep in mind, I can already see this is going to take a crazy amount of juice. Like if you had a spare nuclear reactor handy, we could probably use it. Oh, <laughs> and really? it's going to be big. So find a nice open building site with lots of power available. Um... Alright, um... That might be a bit tricky, I think at least. So, let's go in here. Access to workshop now. Where would this thing be? On the special? Possibly? Yeah, there we go. And then... Uh... Oh, right. And then... Let's uh, build it somewhere with a lot of power, and that should obviously be just around here, yeah? Is that correct? Okay, let's do that. No, exit this. Actually, um, please just go in here and then. How do I wire things? I really cannot remember. God damn it, space, attach wire. Yes, there we go. I think. No? So, not really. 
God damn it. Now, okay, let me uh, figure this out, I think. Actually, let's just go and talk with the uh, searchers here. See what he has to say How's about it. Going? Did you find a good spot to build your signal interceptor? Yes, uh, I did. Yeah, ready to build the rest of it. Good. I think I got a handle on this crazy contraption. At least as much as I can tell. Well, until we actually try to build it. Of here's course. Here's a list of three things that may be harder to find. I think I'll be able to pull together everything else we're going to need. I'll meet you over awesome. at the building site and see if we can actually make this thing work. Now, hopefully I build it the right place. <laughs> um, God damn, okay, thanks. thanks. I'll get right on this. Good deal. One thing to keep in mind while you're building this, it all needs to be wired together so all the pieces can talk to each other. I'll see you over at the building site. Good luck. Yeah, thanks. I really do think I'll be needing it. So, well, shit. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Well, what can we do here? We have the special. Oh God! Oh man! And we need all of this. Oh my God! Yeah, this is going to be great. Just great. Eventually. All right, we did it. So Everything talk to searches. You ready to see if this thing actually works? No, not really. I'm, <laughs> I'm really not ready for this. Okay, let's just go for it, man. God damn it. Let's do this. You sure? Okay. Your part is simple. Just step onto the platform. I'll start scanning for an institute signal to lock onto. All right. Then I fire her up and we see what happens. Yeah, pretty much. Just get on the platform. Oh God! Oh, I can't even move now. The choice has been made. We're fucked anyway. <laughs> uh -oh. Okay, hold real still. I don't want any corruption of the molecular beam. Oh, hey, please don't. Uh, by the way, I figured this was a golden opportunity to find out as much as we can about the institute and what they're up to. Yeah, it, this hollow tape's all set with a program that will scan their network and download anything it finds. <laughs> Uh, okay. Uh -oh. oh shit. Uh, yeah, we better hurry. And don't worry about that thing uh, wiggling around. It's uh, just there for decoration. Oh really? Okay. No. Scanning for the institute signal. Tracking RF. And. Uh. uh got it. But what about this? Okay. Oh shit. <laughs> wow. All right, here we are, with no way of getting back. Well, shit. Uh. <laughs> okay. Hello. Access. Okay. So that was it. Oh wait, what's going on? I'm kind of confused about this. So it's offline. Okay, let me just figure this out and I'll be back with you because I think this might be a bit more tricky than I thought. Alright, so there we go. Give holotapes to Sturgis. So that was it. That was really it for his side of things. Now, wait. Did I actually... Okay, I actually did take out the holotape once again. So... Let me just be on the safe side here and actually have my arms ready to go, because I uh, kind of feel like this will not be a walk in the park now that we are in enemy, you know, behind enemy lines, pretty much. Oh, oh nice. What? Failed road to freedom. I make it here. You're quite resourceful. Uh-oh. I'm known as Father. The Institute is under my guidance. Okay. I know why you're here. I'd like to discuss things with you face to face. Please, step into the elevator. Okay. I am <laughs> really not sure about this. Uh, is there any other way? Um, Damn. inaccessible? Come on! Okay, I think 
We have to do this. We're, we're screwed. Fuck it. Elevator access denied. Oh. Yep. We're fucked. I can only imagine what you've heard. What you think of us. Yes. I'd like to show you that you may have the wrong impression. All right, I'm listening. I'm definitely listening. Welcome to the Institute. Holy mother of gods. This is the reality of the Institute. This place, these people, the work we do. For over a hundred years, we've dedicated ourselves to humanity's survival. Decades of research, countless experiments and trials, a shared vision of how science can help shape the future. I see. It has never been easy. And our actions are often misinterpreted by those above ground. Yeah, I can, I can agree with that. Perhaps we can show them what we've accomplished. But for now, we must remain underground. There's okay. There's much at stake here to risk oh. it all. As you've seen, things above are... unstable. Well, yes. I'd like to talk to you about what we can do for everyone. Okay. But that can wait. You are here for a specific, very personal reason. You are here for your son. I am indeed. Now, may I have him back? Is that my son? <gasps> no use. God damn it. Weezes. Uh. Requires a key. Ah. Uh, Sean. Sean. Sean? It is my son. Yes, it is <laughs> Sean. Is it you? Sean. Is that really you? Who are you? Oh my god. They s uh, I'm your dad. Sean. It's me. I'm. I'm your dad. Father. What's going on? What's happening? Um. God damn it. That's here yes. now, man. It's me, your dad. I'm here, Sean. What's going on? Father? Father! Oh, man. Uh, what? It'll be okay, shh, man. Shh. It'll be okay, Sean. I'm here I now. I don't know you. Go away. Father! Father, help me! There's someone here! Help me! God damn it. God damn it. He d like, obviously, he doesn't even know me when they took him as as an infant. Please, Sean. I'm your father. Talk to me. Just open the door. Father? Father, help me. He's trying to take me. Father? Father, Oh, for fuck's sake. Uh-oh. Hello? Sean. S923, recall code Cirrus. Okay. Hello? Fascinating. Oh. But disappointing. The child's responses were not at all what I anticipated. Wait, what did you He's do to him? Type, you understand. We're only just now beginning to explore the effects of extreme emotional stimuli. Oh. Please try and keep an open mind. I recognize that you are emotional and that your journey here has been fraught with challenges. God Let's damn it. Let's start anew. I am father. Welcome to the Institute. So you're the guy behind this. Give me Sean, man. Give me Sean. The real Sean. Right now! I know. I know. You've gone to such lengths to find him. I have indeed. I really do have indeed. Where's my son? I'll make this very simple. Where is my son? He's here. In the Institute. Closer than you think. But I need you to realize that this situation is far more complicated than you could have imagined. You have traveled very far and suffered a great deal to find your son. Well, your tenacity and dedication have been... Re it's good to finally Wait, meet you. After all this time, it's me. I am Sean. I thought I so. Am your son. I kind of actually thought so, because 
look at his facial expressions, they kind of look a bit similar, but I don't know if that's just me making puzzle, you know, work or whatever. It's really you? It's really you? After all this time? Yes. It's true. In the vault, you had no concept of the passage of time. You were released from your pod and went searching for the sun. You'd lost. Yes. But then you learned that your son was no longer an infant, but a ten-year-old boy. You believed that ten years had passed. True it enough. It so hard to accept that it was not ten, but sixty years. That is the reality. And here I am. Raised by the Institute... And now it's later. Uh, but... Well, it makes sense, but why? But why? Why take a child? Why take you? Ah, now that's the question, isn't it? Why me? Yeah. At that time, the year 2227, the Institute had made great strides in synth production. But it was never enough. Scientific curiosity and the goal of perfection drove them ever onward. What they wanted was the perfect machine. Obviously. So they followed the best example thus far. The human being. Walking, talking, fully articulate, capable of anything. All right. So human synth. Human synths? Really? Human-like synths. A great distinction. All right, the yeah. Institute endeavored to create synthetic organics. The most logical starting point, of course, was human DNA. Of course. The idea of that was available, of course. But it had all become corrupted. In this wasteland, radiation affected everyone. Even in their attempts to shield themselves from the world above, members of the Institute had been exposed Another source was necessary. Right. But then the Institute found me after discovering records from Vault 111. An infant, frozen in time, protected from the radiation induced mutations that had crept into every other human cell in the Commonwealth. Yeah, I you was were exactly pure. What they needed. And so it was my DNA that became the basis of the synthetic organics used to create every human-like synth you see today. I am their father. Mm. Through science, we are family. The synths, me, and you. <sighs> it, like, it, it all makes sense, but it's just like... What the hell? Yeah, so much time. <sighs> Sixty years. So much time. Wasted. I know. I know you must have questions. Please. Anything I can do to help you understand. Um... <sighs> Fucking hell. What about Kellogg? Kellogg? He worked for you? Kellogg. He was an institute asset long before I arrived here. It wasn't until I became director that I learned of all the things he'd done. What kind of man he was. So you used him? You knew the man was a psychopath, but you used him anyway? Come on, work. Would you have preferred yes. that I turned him loose on the Commonwealth? At least keeping him on a short leash kept the collateral damage to a minimum. Well, that is true, the though. The Institute took advantage of Kellogg's vicious nature. I will freely admit that. All Institute right. technology prolonged his life and his usefulness far beyond any normal human lifespan. He never failed the Institute, but his cruelty became more apparent with every completed objective. I won't lie. It's no coincidence your path crossed his. It seemed a fitting way to allow you, us, to have some amount of revenge. What else can I say to ease your mind? 
Oh, man. Well, it kind of makes sense because when we finally killed him, everything was just like robot parts and chips and all of that. So, but what about your mother? Your mother? She never got to see you grow up? No. Nope. Yes. What happened to her was... I've gone over the records of the incident, of course. It seems her death was an unfortunate bit of collateral damage. Really? Collateral damage, and that's it? That's what you define it as, collateral really? Collateral damage? Is that all she was to you? I forget that it's been such a short time for you. I don't have any direct memories. And I've had my entire life to cope with a loss. Well, true Has enough. Has it always been easy? Of course not. But I've done my best to move on and live my life. For many years, I never questioned who my parents were. I accepted my situation. And that was that. With old age comes regret. And asking what if more often. But... What matters now is that you and I have a chance to begin again. What else can I say to ease your mind? Ah, uh, God damn, this is really weird. Anyway, let's I let's go on for now. Very well. The institute is on the verge of some important breakthroughs. Your presence would be appreciated as we approach them. Okay. Of something amazing here. I've helped to build a life for myself and the people of the Institute. Well, that's and good, now, I guess. After all these years, you have an opportunity to help with that. Doesn't that intrigue you? Isn't that what you want? That really does depend on what it is. It really goddamn does. All right, so maybe. Maybe. I, I don't know. This is so much to take in. I know. And I am sorry. You have been through so much in such a short time. The Institute can oh, provide yes. a better life than anything above ground. You've been in the Commonwealth. You've seen what it's like. I assure you that you are better off with us. Um, I don't know. I, like, honestly, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I realize that. It's why I'm trying to help you. I hope that you can see that rationally. The Institute is the only thing left in the world that is worth being part of. I simply ask that you give the Institute, me, a chance. Oh, come on. A chance to show you what I've been telling you. We really well, do have humanity's best interest at heart. Will you take that chance? So he's using the fact that he is my son against me as a form of manipulation. Oh, man. Okay, let's just go with it. Let's just see what he has to say. And if it's shit, we'll shoot him. <laughs> All right. Thank you. The Institute is now your home as much as it is mine. Please take some time. Get to know it. Meet the people you'll be working with. You want to introduce yourself to the division heads. All right. Dr. Fillmore in facilities. Dr. Ao in SRB. Dr. Holdren in bioscience. And finally, Dr. Lee in advanced systems. They've all been notified of your arrival, of course. Meet them. And then we'll discuss what comes next. All right. Well, this was one hell of an episode of Fallout 4. So... I, I don't even know what to say, this is so weird, you know, you, you finally get into the Institute to potentially get the revenge of them killing, you know, your your wife and taking your son, and then all you figure out is just the fact that it's your son been, that's been ruling this entire organization all along, and it's, it's kind of weird, thinking about. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that was all the time I have for this part of Fallout 4. If you like this video, smack that like button, share it with your friends, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye!